artistic family. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. And anyone who is new, thank you so much for stopping by. Okay, guys, so I've got a new camera. This will be my first pour with it. My gosh, so many things have happened in the last few weeks, guys. I apologize about the schedule. It's been a little off. I do always post every Sunday as a given, and if I don't, I'll always let you know in the community post. So turn on your notifications so you don't miss the updates. But I usually add in like two or three other videos, at least two to three videos a week. So I'm getting back on that schedule starting today. So yay, 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 because I uh, really need to, and it was killing me not posting regularly. So what I have here, guys, is a narrow 8 by 20 inch canvas, thin edge. It, I am doing a re-pour, and I have a new color here, Payne's Gray, which I'm sure you've heard of. Gorgeous color. It is a very deep, it's like a black blue somewhat like of an indigo, reminds me of indigo. Okay, and so because of the pearl pour, it's very, very thin. Of course, I got the drips on my fingers already. And then what I have here, guys, is a mix of Pebeo Studio Acrylics Iridescent Paint, which I love. It's like probably my favorite gold, even over the Deco Art 24. Well, you know what? They, they have different properties, so I love them for different reasons, but my two favorite golds. And then I have it mixed in with the Deco Art Metallics. Okay. And again, straight stream. Maybe the gold has a slight trace on it. Um, I find with the Deco Art, not just with the Deco Art, but with most golds, I've been starting to make my consistency a tad thicker than the other paints. Maybe just like, I mean, a tad, like barely measurable. A um, few drops of water. And then here I have copper, which I can tell right now has thickened up a little bit. So let me just add some water in that really quick. Okay, and we're good. And again, that is the Decorate Metallics Copper. And here I have my one, two, three pearl cell recipe. Okay. And this just, I, it's been a while since I've used that exact recipe. I've used it in similar ways, different ratios for just like a satin enamel pour. It doesn't really have a trace. It is really thin, but it feels a bit thicker than what um, it normally is. So I think I didn't add it, uh, as much water because I don't measure. So I, I'm not gonna pour it on and then tilt it off. I'm going to pour it. I'm going to lay my design. Let's do a little bit more here. That's plenty. Okay. Yeah, I can tell by the feel of it, it's a little bit thicker. And that's what happens when you don't measure, but that's okay. As long as it works, I'm happy. Okay, so I'm going to go in first because I want to see this gorgeous um, Payne's Gray. I really want to see the paint's gray sink underneath there. So I'm going to kind of I wanted it somewhat minimal, guys, so I'm not putting a whole lot down on the canvas. But I will go in and put some love in there. And then I'm going to put the copper kind of overlapping it. Because I want to see the copper mixed with it. But I also want to see the gorgeous gold as well. The copper can take over. I really hope it doesn't. Okay. That gold and copper is just stunning. Now, I already have a feeling, guys, I do this all the time. Let's just try to get out as much as we can. What's left here? Add in what I have left up here. Okay. I 
And even though I love to go in and add some love like I'm doing, ooh, that's pretty. Um, definitely when I use gold and I lay my colors this way, I definitely like to go in because Sometimes the blocks of gold just doesn't work out as well as I would like it to. Gosh, that's pretty. Okay, it's so pretty. So I want to come down a bit and up and then back the other end and stretch that out. Oh my gosh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> wow. This is why I love these color palettes, guys. Are you kidding me? This is a stunner, and especially with that iridescent. Oh my gosh. I don't want to ruin this too much. Let me add some more white. I am trying to contain myself right now, guys. But I am doing that hand happy dance like nobody's business right now. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Now I might be a little extra <laughs> because I've been painting regularly for you guys, but I'm telling you, it's warranted. Oh. Oh, I'm dying here. I am dying. This is beyond stunning. Oh my gosh, guys. This is gorgeous. I don't want to take anything off. It doesn't even matter to me if any pearls come up. I mean, there's some effects starting here. I am going to stretch it out because I have to. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to take you guys in. This is is gorgeous. Okay, we've got a cool, a, a few little kind of puffy effects there. Like I said, um, I was hoping for some pearls but I am completely happy that they didn't pop in because this is gorgeous. I'm kind of getting like a sunset feel from this and I love how the colors blended. I have like this shade of green here, okay, going on with the gold. And then I have gorgeous different shades of blues and grays and lavender all from the mix is that's why I don't use a lot of colors guys if you understand color theory and you layer your paints right it looks like I used five six seven colors and I used three minus the base and I look how that copper and the gold any brand of the two look gorgeous together but I love the deco arts mix love it we do see some of the phalo didn't show up in a whole lot of places, but I love how it blended with all of the colors. I love the lines and the movement in this. It's somewhat of a landscape. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> it's what comes to my mind. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all. Thank you for all your support. We're moving right along. Please don't forget to like. It's free. Share and subscribe and definitely comment. I love to engage with you guys. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comments. And until next time, stay safe and healthy and I'll see you all in the next pour.